All right, everyone. It is Friday, 1st of February, which means the Resident Evil 2 remake leaderboards have gone online. So hunting season is open, which means that some people might be interested in running this game. So I thought, why not make a quick and dirty tutorial to show you what you need to do in order to, you know, run the game. Just as a heads up, um, the run I'm going to be doing is going to be really safe. I'm going to be picking up a lot of stuff, a lot of items. Um, I will tell you at points if you need to pick them up or if you can skip them. Also, because I'm talking at the same time, I might forget things and run the wrong way. But it's all good because it will work as a sort of um, proof of concept that even if you fuck up the first few times you do this, you can still get a not terrible time for yourself. Also, you know, stay positive, man. Look at it as a learning experience and realize that if you do mistakes, still finish a run, you know, because then you have a time that you can beat afterwards. So that's also good. First of all, we're going to go over, over some uh, basic stuff. As you might know, in this game, there's two categories in terms of frames per second, which is 120 frames and 60 frames accordingly. Because um, the knife damage in this game is directly tied to your in-game frames per second. I'm going to be demonstrating the 120 frames per second um, category. Um, strats will mostly be the same for 60. Maybe the bosses will be different in some ways. But I think knife strats will work as well for 60. But there might be faster ones out there. But I don't know because I don't do uh, 60. If you find no other ways of setting your frames to 120 in-game, get this program, it's called Riva Tuner Statistics Server. Just add your Resident Evil 2 executable file in here, set your frame rate accordingly. And also if you're streaming, don't forget that um, if you have your, uh, your, your game recording, go to... Uh, just, you know, I can't think of the English word, I'm sorry. Just scroll down <laughs> and enable um, recording of stuff like uh, Steam overlays. Enable that because otherwise um, your in-game FPS will not... Sh um, well, your in-game FPS will not show. Also, I just realized you just saw a black screen. Well, just right-click on your uh, source for your game, go to settings or, or options or whatever and put it on so that um, the Steam overlay gets captured as well. So, um, first uh, let's go over some more basic stuff. Lines. You see this uh, wonderful map I have drawn here. It's um, when you walk through rooms, pay attention that you take the most direct lines. Let's see, let's say um, you come out of this room and this to the right, this red box is your point of interest. What you want to do is take straight lines like this to go there. Don't do, don't do stuff, don't go like that, you know, go straight. I know it's common sense, but you might forget about it at times. I'm not going to be like really um, stringent with this as I as I'm running now because the, for purposes of demonstration, I will do a run that is more sloppy than good, just so you can see that you don't have to stress about stuff. You know, don't stress about losing time or on small things and stuff like that. You know, just play. Just play and do your best, and if you fuck up, then well, then who cares, right? It's just a game. That's important. Not Don't stress yourself. Just have fun. That's the most important thing. Alright. 
So again, make sure that this uh, this here is working. You can check your FPS on the uh, on the top screen. Also, I have some notes that I will be pulling up. You will maybe not see them because of my settings, but I did it in such a way that um, I did it in such a way that um, I can look at the notes and even lose time by looking at notes and yeah you see it doesn't matter too much. Um, be wary also that uh, all of your audio and stuff is in check when you stream the game. If you listen to music while streaming the game pay good attention that the music does not overpower your in-game audio or pay attention that um, parts aren't muted because of copyright, because then the run cannot be submitted and your dope ass time is not going to be accepted. So we don't want that. We don't, you know, we don't want that to happen. Um, music, pick whatever you want. Let's use alternate costumes just for fun, so we have something different to look at. No, don't put continue. That's really bad. That's actually quite bad. That was from the uh, the other tutorial run I did earlier, which wasn't that good. I mean, my explanations weren't good. So, new game, Leon, standard. Right. So now, <clears throat> keep in mind you can skip all the cutscenes. It's quite important. Now, this first part right here is quite boring and it's always the same. Just keep your lines tight, you know, not like I'm doing here. Right. Do it better than me. Don't move. I'll be back for you. Skip this too. Run, run past this guy. Pick up the key, just mash. That's what I do. Then shoot him, shoot him in the head. <clears throat> Sorry, shoot him in the head. Walk past him. If you want to be safe or if you're scared, whatever, man. Just uh, you can also let him pass, and you can also run. You can run by him, as well. Also, the way I just walked is the fastest, and also the only, pretty much, because the game prevents you from walking other ways. Oh yeah, also take care that um, after a cutscene, sometimes your camera is not in the ideal position where you want to run. So be sure that you keep in mind where Leon is facing, when, where Leon and the camera will be facing after the cutscene versus where you want him to go, right? So after this cutscene, he's, gonna, he's not going to look into the way that he wants, or that we want him to, I should say. Right, so turn around. Walk. As always, <clears throat> keep your lines tight. On the stairs here, there's gonna be a thing. If you aim and unaim, like uh, this, it's gonna be faster. You're gonna Leon will skip some steps. Otherwise, if you don't do this, he will try to step on every step on the stair, which is slower. And if you do that. He'll be faster. I think there's other methods as well. I just do that. Also, the zombies here can grab you. Even though it is the first area, the zombies here can and will grab you. So, be wary of that. Also, um, also, always keep in mind what room is gonna come next and where you have to go. It's good practice to always think one room ahead. So you can angle yourself in a way that is uh, best for speed, so that you don't like walk circles or stuff like that. So the beginning here will always be pretty much the same. Jesus. Open up. Hurry. Open up. Skip this cutscene as well. Um, quick. Thing. After this cutscene, there's gonna be a zombie coming into the room. Just walk in front of the door, stop, 
and then as soon as he comes into the room, we can run past the zombie to his as a to our right, right? It's way faster than stunning him or anything else. Also, if for whatever reason you need to stop on a dime while sprinting, you can just aim and then let go of the movement keys. That way we will stop. Yeah. Oh yeah, this notebook, it's important. Note this down. The solutions for this puzzle will always be the same, but as far as I know, the amount of turns it needs for the puzzle to solve is not the same every time, as far as I'm aware. So just keep just keep those things in mind. I don't keep them in mind, that's why I have to pull up my notes <laughs> when I get there. But it's it's fine. So hold it right here. Walk past him. He will lunge at you sometimes, but uh, pay him no mind. This zombies here run to their right, uh, to our right, and in most cases they will not grab you, but they can. So, but don't be, you know, don't stress out over it. It's like it's like five seconds or so. So don't be too concerned. Also, here is another example of. Um, Leon facing a weird way after a cutscene. Just remember to go to the right and to here. If you want, if you want to be really certain, you can pick up this ammo here for your head gun. We're gonna just pick up that one. Also for safety, pick up this if you feel uh, uncertain and you want to be safe. As I've said, we're gonna be picking up a lot of stuff, a lot more than you would usually do. Just to show you that it's not a big deal, right? Here, keep to this wall, because if you don't, this guy that hangs here is gonna fall down on you, it's gonna stop your momentum, it's gonna be annoying. So, yeah, take good care that you walk past him. In this room, walk to the right, walk around these uh, chairs here. If you run into them, same thing, you will get stopped. It's gonna be annoying. We're gonna do another safe strat right here that will lose time, but we're in a chill run, it doesn't matter. Take these boards, put them put them up here. So you don't have to worry about him later. Just you know to take a load off our mind. There's gonna be a zombie up the stairs here. Just shoot him in the head, walk past. Pick up this ammo. Also, you, you don't have to, but it's better to have, at the beginning especially, if you start running this, it's better to have more resources than you need, than less, you know? Also, don't forget to do the stair thing. I don't know what it's called, actually. Stair skating, stair pumping, whatever, man. Um, the fat zombie is gonna be here often. He's not here, that's great. We can just walk past. Um, then open this safe and get the pouch. Uh, the combination is 9, 15, 7. Just mash space or mouse, whatever, man. Take the pouch. I think in optimized runs you can also skip that pouch. Mainly we need that pouch to have extra space for the flamethrower later. But as I've said, um, not every route uses the flamethrower. But if you want it, then take the pouch. Alright, now it's time to go to the east part of the uh, police station, which is, by the way, an old museum. That's not a museum anymore. Some Resident Evil trivia for you. Don't forget to go in here and grab the key card. Also concerning movement, um, whenever you have to pick up something or go somewhere and then the turn 90 degrees to go back out, um, make sure to do it in a way that's fast because I feel, I'm not sure, but I feel like you can lose a lot of time by sloppy movement like that. You know? Use the bolt cutters here. 
so now I think I've already messed up because, um, well not messed up, but you know. Also go to the middle of doors. If you approach them too far to the left or right, um, she will do some weird thing and you can't use the item that you want. Yeah, dump the key and we need three, three, three free spaces. So let's just combine this. Um, take the flash, it's important. And you need three free spaces for this. Take the valve, take the fuse. So that's very important. Set in the fuse like this. And don't be scared to just stand there, the zombies pff, will not get you. Just... Just go through there. Now, we have to go through this corridor the second time. Keep in mind though, that zombies have been coming through the windows. See, if you walk... <laughs> if you walk into him, that happens. So there's a zombie right there. To be safe, stun him. Same with this guy. If I can hit him, nice. Use the bolt cutters here. And then you can dump them. You might have seen me dump the key earlier. If you look at this um, check mark right here, that means you don't need the item anymore. You can discard them. You know how in the old games, the game says you don't need it anymore, discard, yes, no, it's the same thing, right? But just, you just have to do it manly, manually in this game. Then, we're gonna go get the shotgun with the uh, weapon key we picked up earlier. Pick up the ammo, pick up the shotgun, equip it, pressing 4 and load it. Go outside, kill this guy. You can also just stun him with the handgun. Whatever, whatever feels right for you. St oh fuck! Jesus Christ! <laughs> stun her. <clears throat> but do it better than me. Make me proud. So now. You can open this if you want. The password is CAP. C -A -P. There's some shotgun shells in there. There's also some here. So that's fine. Also make sure that your shotgun is always loaded. You can always reload while walking. There's a powder here. As I've said, you don't need to pick up this powder or the shells back there. But do pick up this one. The liquor here, he cannot get you right now. So don't worry about him. Take the flash, take the shotgun ammo, take the battery and combine it with the detonator, like that. Um, you can take here this powder, combine it right away with this powder. Um, and now we don't have any space, which is annoying because there is a first aid spray right here. You can pick that up if you want to be safe. What we, what we might be able to... No, that doesn't work, right? Well, you know, what we're gonna do is... Um, dump the two green herbs and pick up the first aid spray, because that's more important. It's a full heal. Okay, so now, you run through here. This liquor right here... Mostly, he's not gonna get you. Maybe, if you're lucky. I don't know. <laughs> Just keep running. Alright, this is time for uh, the puzzle combinations. Um, as I've said, I have not memorized them, so I have to look it up. It's fish, scorpion, jug. Right, that's the solution. So, fish, scorpion, and jug. There we are. But that's a big problem. Well, all right. See, this is already a very good example of how I'm messing up things. But, you know, it doesn't matter. Don't stress about it. Just uh, adapt accordingly. So just keep in mind, usually we would pick it up right now. 
But it's not a big deal because, first of all, we get one space after this, and also there's a pouch right here. It's important here that you enter the library and re-enter. Keep the door open. And I will tell you afterwards why that's important. Okay, this combination is... Also, don't be scared of the liquor here. He will not get you while you do this puzzle. Um, head, bow, and worm. So head, not bow, bow. And worm, or snake, it's a snake, it's not a worm. So there's gonna be a liquor coming for you. But you know, don't be afraid. Stand your ground and just walk past. He will almost never get you. Also here, take the take the ladder. Don't break through the through the floor. Kill these fools. I'm pretty sure they're not dead, but whatever. You will thank me. You will. Oh Jesus Christ! You will. Oh my God! I've lost so much ammo already. But see, that's cool. It's good. It's all. It's fine because we picked up ammo on the way. Just, you know, don't stress out about it. Use the key. And then get the last remaining medal. Medallion. The password here is um, lion, grass and bird. You might have noticed that the key, we can dump it now, which is really nice. Skip all these cutscenes. Also, the thing about menuing, you can do it, you know, do it however it feels right. Do whatever feels right for you, right? I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you how to play the game. Also dump the flashes here. We're gonna be doing a run where we use the box because as I've said this speedrun is I mean this tutorial is um, is made with beginners in mind so we don't stress out too much about boxes or doing perfect lines and all this. There's a nade here also in the uh, in the optimized run you can skip it it's only a few seconds so it's fine also here make sure you have the knife with you and equipped because we are gonna use the knife here for this boss fight you see my FPS dropping I'm at 118 now I don't know if I am at the full 120 for the boss fight but we'll see So here, boss fight, equip the knife and start knifing him and stay to his left, I mean to his right, our left, stay to, to the left of him and to his back as to avoid his attacks. You can also bait an attack out and then yeah, evade it like that. So just, uh, we're gonna do this now, if, if, if it doesn't go smoothly, doesn't matter, I'm just gonna reset it, um, you know, reload. And we're just going to do it again. Which, by the way, is not viable for submitted runs. You can only reload if you die. So keep that in mind. So see, he hit us there. Because I didn't do it right, but... It really doesn't matter. Just keep knifing him. Even if he grabs us, like, uh, who cares, you know? Let him. Because, you know, I mean, it's not a big deal. Just just use your first aid spray. Um, over here, you can loot this. Um, there's, some, there's a grenade here. Also, some pistol ammo. A green herb. 
which is useful, you know, because what we're going to do, since this is a really safe run with a really safe route, I'm going to pick up the red herb as well, make a full heal, and we're going to keep on trucking. Also, there's a powder to the right you can pick up if you want. So yeah, um, keep in mind really that this run is not supposed to be super fast or super good. The whole point is that I can do it sloppily or not good and, and still have, you know, n not, not a time that will go in, in top 10 or, or even top 20, but um, a time that you can build off of. That's the main thing. You know, just also don't press direction buttons in front of doors, except forward, because otherwise Leon will stagger like that and it's annoying. <clears throat> okay, skip this cutscene. Now we have to go to this machine here. Just quit out again and the cutscene will start. And then hey, I'm not done talking to you. just follow Ada. This door will be closed for a few seconds, that's normal. Pay no mind to the zombies, they cannot get you. Here's Ben, a good friend and reporter Ben. Take the crank, go back. <clears throat> Also here, take you know, take some relatively tight lines through here. Don't go to the right of the white car. Also, when you come in here, the way Leon stops running, don't turn right too quickly. Otherwise, you will get caught in here and you will lose speed. Essentially, play it like you would play Goldeneye if you've ever play that, you know, don't get snacked on corners. So, this dog's here, you can kill those. They will take um, three to four hits. If you want to be fast, don't kill the dogs. Just, just walk past. But if you kill them now, um, they're gonna be a little less annoying on the way back. So that's the reason we do that. In here there's also a green herb you can take if you want. I think we can afford to take it, yeah. Yeah dude, let's be as safe as possible in this demonstration. Also pick this up, but do not forget this. This item is a key item, you will need it. The solution to this puzzle is uh, 0011, or like on, uh, off, off, on, on. You can do it really fast. So because we killed, otherwise a dog would come here and you would have to do the line kind of like I demonstrated right now. But because we killed dogs, there's gonna, not going to be as many chasing us now. There's going to be some dogs coming out of the wall in the next room. Also. Just ignore him. Just um, walk like I do right now. If you do it like this, walk to the wall, then turn. Most likely he will miss you. If you go straight for the door, the dog is way more likely to bite you. So just avoid him. Again, pump the stairs. Um, shotgun shells, important. This room here, just for the purposes of this, I'm gonna pick up everything I find in here. The magnum room, I call it. I don't know what the room is called. 
that's a uh, break room. Okay, well, I call it the magnum room because <laughs> on the original you can find the magnum in here. Well, the desert eagle, I guess. But dump the blue herb, dump the uh, powder. The crank, don't dump it yet. We need it. Equip the shotgun here to kill these zombies coming up. Because if you don't, they're gonna be way more annoying than necessary. Also, if you want, pick up the knife. Because as you might have noticed, knives are knives are god here in this game. They're useful. Now head up back. And use the crank. <clears throat> after this one, after this crank usage, you can dump it. So we're gonna do it right now. No. Yes. Fuck. No. <laughs> Let's dump it. Again. Here's a flash. You can also take it on your way back. It's probably faster, I don't know. There's also a blue herb in here. Just pick it up. If you want, you can definitely skip that one. But um, we're coming across um, an item box. It's just shortly, so it's fine. There's a cutscene here, skip that. Um, equip the shotgun again. Say hello to the infamous uh, safe room in the original. Kill those two zombies that come out here. Oh shit, if you don't miss that is. Also it's quite important to, you know, that, um, yeah, see this, this is why we, uh, if you put the green herb, uh, the, the blue herb up there, also, we don't need the grenades, but we do need the flash that we picked up. Um, what did I just say? Yeah, this one, this this thing here, it's important. Also, these two green herbs, take them if you feel uncomfortable. And the flash that we just equipped, um, that's necessary. If you want to be fast, that is. For um, Mr. X. Also, this um, red herb. Take it if you want. Okay, so now here. I will not show both ways. I will show one way, and this is the flash way. We picked up a flash, anyways, right, in the room before? Um, to avoid Mr. X here, you can either flash him right here and run past, or you can kite him outside to the terrace and walk around him, like take a really wide circle so he doesn't get you and run back in, just the way we came, right? But we're gonna flash him here, wait, I don't have the timing down for this, so if I mess up, then yeah. And just flash him as soon as he finishes his animation with the helicopter. Jesus like this, and then run past him. Also this green herb. It's, uh, you can use it to make a full heal in this corridor because of the red herb you picked up earlier. So then we return back to the main hall and once again go through this corridor ahead. Now every time we walk through this corridor we, we go through it three times. Every time it's going to be different. Now there's going to be a liquor in here and it's going to be super annoying. This zombie here in the window, we can kill him now or later. I usually kill him later because, or I want to kill him later here because the liquor just uh, jumped in front of us and the chances of the liquor getting us are higher. So equip the shotgun, go outside. 
the zombie is gonna be, yeah, right here. Fucking shoot this guy. So he leaves you alone. Also, uh, Mr. X is gonna be here, yeah. Just if you wanna go for consistency or something, for ease of use, I guess, just let him hit you and run away. You can also bait out an attack, but um, I'm not sure of the timing and the feeling of it yet, so I didn't want to risk it. Also re-equip the shotgun for this reason. Here, use the jack. And you can push all of these from this one. You don't have to do them individually. Push it three times. See, that's enough. And go to the ladders. Usually, even though Mr. X is musing as playing when you come in here, usually he will lose interest in you for a short while. I don't know why. So you have time to uh, rearrange the, set the shelves. Also, there's a zombie behind this pillar. Just uh, don't let him surprise you. <clears throat> so now, um, once you've used the cock, do not forget to take it back. Otherwise you're gonna kick yourself for forgetting. Because we have to use them a second time up here. So you see, if you take a safe route, and even if you pick a lot of stuff up, you're not gonna have too much problems um, with inventory space. You will have some, maybe, as I did before, but it's like it's not the end of the world. Also, skip this cutscene. Hope I don't have to write a report on this. Listen to Leon's jokes. Take this. Also, do not. All right. An explanation here, real quick. Mr. X was here, right, to the left of us when we came out of here. I do believe it is faster if we go back the way we came through the library, break the floor that we didn't earlier for this specific reason, so we can go down faster, exit the library, and go back on the ground. But since it, Mr. X was to the left of us here, it's annoying to go there, so we go straight ahead and to the left. Also, this zombie right here, um, he can be a bit dangerous, so stun him. Run past. Um, yeah, and now in the room ahead, there's gonna be two zombies as well, they're gonna scare you. If he gets in your way, just kill him. I mean, just just give him a headshot um, to stun him. We're having none of his bullshit. And yeah, just go back the way we came from the underground, essentially. Also, you might hear me mashing uh, the mouse button when I go to doors. Pretty sure you don't need to do that, but I just do it. I don't know why. I just do. Don't get grabbed by him. Don't get grabbed by him. And don't pay this pajama zombie no mind. Just uh, <laughs> walk past. Sometimes they will be in the in the in the uh, hallway standing if you didn't kill them properly before, but uh, it doesn't matter. So now we go back. There's going to be some dogs here in the garage, which are really annoying. Oh fuck! I forgot something really important. Well, it doesn't matter now. Just run some zigzag lines, so the dogs will avoid you. I am. I mean, so you can avoid the dogs. Um, solve this puzzle up ahead. Also, it's faster if you um, unpack these things in the window, um, like like this, and not individually when you get them. 
I'm pretty sure that's faster like this. Mash space or whatever you want, whichever action button you want. Um, this puzzle here, it's always the same, the solution to it. Um, just, uh, yeah, copy this. I'm not gonna tell you like how many numbers of clicks and, and whatever, because that's just boring. Um, take this card. Okay, now here comes a cool strat, which I cannot show, which I'm really pissed about, but um, if you have a flash with you at this point, you could go to the right, shoot the fat zombie, and look, I will show it to you, what it would look like with a grenade. It doesn't work with a grenade, but whatever. Walk here, shoot him, and throw the nade. Like this. Well, <clears throat> never mind, it did work. So, okay. You, you do the same thing, but you just do it, <laughs> you just do it with a flash grenade. Instead of a, a regular grenade. <laughs> uh, I did not expect that to work, I never tried it before. So yeah, shoot the fat zombie. Um, walk into the middle of the hallway, throw the flash way behind. One zombie will grab you, also there's a green herb, you can take it if you want. Um, the one zombie will probably grab you if you do the flash strat, but it doesn't matter because the flash goes off and he will let go. And Mr. X gets stunned and you can walk past, uh, run past. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. But I just wasted the grenade, which is pretty annoying. But also, um, but also that was like an extra nade that often you don't pick up anyway. So it's not a, it's not the end of the world. Okay, in here pick up the grenade, pick up this, and also combine it with the shotgun. It not only upgrades your damage, but also gives you four free shotgun shells, which is nice. So if you're really, um, if you're routing this for yourself and want to pick up as, as, uh, you know, as few shotgun shells as you want and stuff, keep in mind that uh, it will give you free. Free shells. Explains the horrible things I've seen. And that's why I'm looking for a next thing. She's the one that's to Based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. Well said. Gee, thanks. Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Jesus! That an earthquake? So, the, the alligator crocodile fight. Whichever one it is, you know. You can tell apart crocodiles and alligators by the way their teeth are grown. By the way, their teeth are, I should say. But I don't remember which is which. But you know, that's a fun fact. So, this crocodile fight, alligator fight. Skip the cutscene and go to the left. Let him bite. Run to the right. Let him bite. And immediately go to the left as far left as you can and uh, that's alligator interior crocodile alligator you know give him uh, give him the jaws treatment pick up the nade and wait here until Ada gets her lazy ass over here to lower the uh, ladder Also listen to the one-liners, which this game has some, not as many. 
There's another really bad one-liner coming up, which uh, when I played the game the first time I could not believe it. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. Fair point. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. You can't really speed this procedure up, so just uh, get into the elevator and chill. You can also look at the good, uh, like at the glorious facial animations. So let me get this straight. Umbrella sells monsters like that to who? Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. As scary as that alligator was, Annette is far more dangerous. Alright, this is now the uh, genius one-liner coming up. Right here. It's secret weapon time. That's so retarded. Also get some obscure action while uh, doing this puzzle. Now, you can um, activate this switch through the wall up th from this point on, which is nice. Activate this fan and also, after you do this, activate the switch to the lower left of us. Right there. If you don't do it now, the zombie down here will probably get you. So do it before you go down. Also, again, do not press the side keys when entering a door. Alright, so now we just... Uh, Take a stroll through here. This Ada section is relatively chill. It's not much you have to do or pay attention to. This one, you can do this faster than I just did, but the fat guy is gonna come around the corner. Just stun him. We're not gonna be bullied by <coughs> zombies today. Also, sometimes there's a zombie to the left of here. Yeah, there he is. If you're a little slower, he can... Or just unlucky, I guess. He can... He can uh, grab you around the corner. So pay attention that that doesn't happen. So be sure to activate those. Don't get bullied by Mr. X, just... Show no, oh fuck, show no fear. If you do this relatively quickly, he will not get you, so don't worry. The game is dark as shit, I can't see anything. That's also a thing, um, if, you, if you need to, or if you want to, just turn up the uh, brightness. Because the game is quite dark. If you play with recommended uh, brightly, brightness settings. Bravo. So here you can like position yourself at the middle here. The order of these is you have to do this first, then that, then this, then this, then this, then that, and exit. Also, you can walk forward to save time when you activate this.
So that's the end of uh, secret weapon time. Again with the cutscenes that put your camera in a in a awkward way. Just walk backwards and go to the lift. We're gonna use this, right? It's not necessary at all, but uh, gonna box the knife. Also, we can pretty sure we can box this. Don't need it. Uh, yeah, whatever, man. Just uh, yeah, don't stress about items. You'll see that uh, even with overburdening yourself and carrying like a whole pharmacy with you, it's not a problem. Alright, so up here it's gonna be some zombies. The one right in front of us here. You can I think in many cases you can just walk past them without shooting. But this one you definitely have to Yeah. Well see sometimes the zombies will just sometimes the zombies will just um They will just no sell your shoot your shots and not care. So that that does happen sometimes. Especially if you were all if you were like ready for them to get stunned and start running, and then you realize they they're not being stunned. So that's annoying. All right. So this this thing here. Stand close, but not too close. Shoot him to to get him out, and just walk past. What the hell? Easy money. Cable car. Interesting. Also, shotgun shells here, we're gonna pick them up, even though it's, as I've said, it's not necessary. There's some magnum shells in this locker, but, you know, we don't get the magnum, so. Coming, Ada. So, let me think for a second. Yeah, that's fine. It's, it's all fine. Um, from this point on, if you want to take the rocket, uh, the flamethrower, Make sure to have five item slots free. Because you need two chess pieces, a tool, and. Well, two chess pieces, right? That's two slots. The flamethrower is two slots, which makes four, and then the tool, which makes five. And in actuality, it's better if you actually have six slots free, because gonna need um, another chess piece also you could just go down here now or if you want to be like a real G and upgrade your shotgun 2128 is the code luckily it's written on the set on the side of the safe Take that, combine it. If you want, you can also um, wake up this guy to take up the, to pick up the blue herb, but we're not gonna. Oh yeah, shotgun for this room because this room is quite annoying. Also, kill this guy. You don't have to, but I do it because. Uh, like I said, this is like a safe route, a really safe run. So obviously I, I will value consistency and ease of use over raw speed. So if you clear out that whole room, they're not gonna bother you anymore, which is nice. 
There's also another green herb here, but I don't think do we have any use for it. Well, maybe we do, you know, just take it. And if we don't, we'll just uh, we'll just uh, throw it away. All right, here, same strat as before. Shoot the monster. Run past. Also, make sure to not be too close to the monster or run too early. So, if you happen to get grabbed, don't fret. Just heal yourself with um, a red, green, blue herb mixture. Because this will not only heal you from poison, but also um, make like it, it will buff your defense to 50. It will buff your your um, damage defense by 50% if I'm not mistaken. So you can take more hits, and also it will um, make you immune to poison as long as it will tick, as long as the effect will be active, no. Also, I'll ju I'm just gonna shoot this guy for safety here. Also, I already forgot if I, oops, if I said it before, but for menuing, menuing, you can use mouse or keyboard or both, whatever feels right for you. Don't stress out about it. Just, uh, just do whatever feels fast and consistent to you. I have a suspicion that the keyboard only might be faster if you keep your inventory space consistent and always know where things are. If you go off reactions and sight alone, then pretty sure mouse is gonna be faster. Alright, so walking back here, it's the same procedure as before. Which is just 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 hope you don't get grabbed. And we're fine. Also here, um bait this guy to come out of the water, climb up here, go over here Wait until he attacks, and then nudge yourself to the left so you can nudge outside in between him and the uh, ground, so you can jump down and avoid him like that. Maybe there's a new and better strat out that I haven't seen, but this is neat. Also, we cleared out this room earlier, you see he's dead, all of them are dead, easy life. Um, open up this shortcut, also jump down here and go grab a grenade. And if you're full, if your inventory is full at this point, don't stress out about it. Because <clears throat> right now we're gonna get an item. Well, we're gonna get an ammo pouch. Not an ammo pouch, like a... <sighs> like whatever, like a pouch, you know? will increase your inventory space by two slots, which is really nice. Also grab the shells. Again, I think you can skip those shells as well, if you want to be extra fast. Kill this zombie here. Again, you don't have to, but I do it because it's safer and more consistent. Um, Take this, go back. There's also some handgun ammo here if you on the side. If you want it. Also this blue herb is free, right? So why why not put it into just nice. Good. Very good.
Why is he standing? Christ. Also, um, I don't even know why I freaked out about that because we don't even need to go there. So, I don't know, I just, <laughs> just blacked out for a moment. Didn't realize I don't even need to go there. But again, don't stress out about it. Just do your best and it's gonna be fine. Here, um, this grenade, I'm gonna box it here because I'm gonna do another strat, but you, you can use the grenade for the Burking fight, which is coming up. But do dump the tool if you want. Also knife, you don't need it here. I mean, I don't need it here. Um, so, the chess pieces. Take the bishop and plug in the king in his place. Next to the king is the queen. Makes sense. Take the knight. Put the knight into his slot where he belongs. Put the rook into the middle. And then finally the bishop over here. This puzzle is always the same. It doesn't change. Luckily. It would be annoying if it did. There's a blue herb here, take that. You know, you don't have to, again. It's really not necessary to do it because, like I said, we're doing the safest of routes, so we're gonna be stacked with healing items. There's gonna be a rich gang over here. No, I didn't do that, combine. But, oh yeah. Okay, the solution to this puzzle is um, 1101. On, on, off, on. So now we run, run over here to trigger the cutscene, uh, to trigger um, Birkin coming through the ceiling. Afterwards, there's two ways you can go about it. You can either run over here, face the room, and throw a nade down. It will probably hit him and he will come straight from the door. Otherwise, just stand here in front of this box, equip your shotgun and shoot his arm. Two to three times or something. Jesus Christ. Like this. I think that should be enough. No, nope. that was stupid. Oh, so now it's enough. Oh well, just stand here to the left side and keep running. So you can run straight out. Now it's unlikely, but I've had it happen that he hits you while you're trying to jump off here. Like that. But I had it happen that he actually did hit me. Alright, here. Take, um, activate this. Be fast. Take the flash. Equip. Throw. Equip the, uh, the flamethrower. And burn him. Now, as soon as you hear the crane activate again, which will be when you're at around 130 ammo left. Go back, activate the lift again, and start spraying him again afterwards. You hear the crane? And activate it. And just keep spraying him, because the damage will be enough that he will get staggered. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, come on. Well, <laughs> let's do that again. Mm. 
That was quite asinine, actually, what just happened. But side. Because sometimes that can happen and he can hit you. Now I got you. Before he goes down, but... If you just keep spraying him like that, um, he will get st he will get stunned again. Come on, and again he evaded there. This really is not um, a great example of how to do this fight. I swear it works. It usually works every time. I swear. <laughs> I really don't know why it doesn't work right now. I don't get it. Now I got you. Also maybe we should heal. Right? Yeah. He's not gonna get hit again. Um well, this is this is uh, this is embarrassing. It, it never used to be. A, it was never a problem. This. Yeah, you see, that's how it's supposed to. That's what's supposed to happen. Keep your eyes, uh, keep your ears peeled for this sound. Also, if it gets us now, it's. I don't care. Except if he grabs us, of course. And again. Dude. I'm gonna have to edit this. This is really asinine. I don't know, but something is different. <laughs> I really don't know what the issue is. I really don't know what the issue is here. Like he never used to hit me before either. Now I got you. Well, it worked this time, but do you see um it might not be as consistent as I thought it was. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> it's not supposed to take this long at all. Well, anyways. We're past it now. Oh yeah, you cannot discard weapons like this, so just do that. Oh fuck, I walked the wrong I walked the wrong way. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there with uh, Birkin, but yeah, it's not a big deal.
Also here, um, if you're not fast enough, Ada will block your way. You know, maybe it has something to do with the uh, with the frames per second as well. Maybe it affects like how fire damage ticks, also. Because uh, before the 120 FPS rule, I played uncapped with uncapped FPS. So maybe you know, maybe that could be the reason why the strategy with the flamethrower and one flash grenade doesn't work. Because I've seen it with a flash and a flamethrower, but uh, two flashes. So flame him, a uh, flash him, flame him. Yeah, also there's a grenade here. It's good to take that. Because we need a few nades for um, Birkin number three. Um, yeah, in this kitchen, pick up the powder right here. I think that's pretty much... If you skipped a lot before, that's necessary. Also, here's a zombie right there. Just, uh... Usually I would take the shotgun and just shotgun him, but um, I didn't think ahead. Take this, combine it with the wristband. Also, do not walk too close to this door right here. Because if you do, it can happen that zombies come out of the cafeteria and grab you. I think in terms of inventory... Oh no, let's take... Uh, there's some shotgun shells over there as well. We will probably end with too many... Sh not too many, but just end with shotgun shells to spare. Which, you know... Again, we're doing a really safe and chill route. There's only um, ah, like two annoying or dangerous segments coming up. One of them is the liquor room in the labs downstairs, and the other one is returning to this place after setting the solution, the herbicide or whatever it is. Also remember the uh, powder we grabbed earlier in the kitchen? We're gonna combine that with this straight away. Uh, yeah. Also just walk past this guy. Oh, damn. Pick up the flash. Um, and here is the password. See, now, what I do is... I just imagine that these symbols here are letters. So, I can, you know, I can remember them easy, more easily. The first password is um, E-H-S-E, <laughs> because that's what they look like, right? And then the second password is... Um, S, small i, P, because that looks like a P, big I. So that's just how I remember it. You can do it however you want, man. Whatever feels natural to you. Okay, now the, um, the puzzle coming up. Also the red herb, grab it if you want don't need to, but it could come in handy with the liquors. The puzzle here is also always the same. There's no, no uh, randomness to it. And, and it's uh, R, G, B, R, G, B, R, G. So basically, start from the middle, and then just go to the left 
and left, 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 left. Well, if it was, you know what I mean. Start with R and then just go down RGB, RGB, RGB until you're finished. Take the nade, it's important. There's some powder here as well, but we don't need it. Also, never forget to do this. So you have enough space. Ah, uh, yeah. These plant men, if they grab you, you're dead. A fucking dead might. Never forget. That was a really big mistake. A really big mistake because we need the knives for um, G3. Some more shells here that we're gonna need because we're gonna kill these zombies in here. This one you don't need to kill, but we'll do it anyways. Also, the green herb combined with the red you just picked up. There's gonna be a liquor in front of us here. Just run past them. Never be scared. Don't be afraid. Just walk past them. And once again, maybe there's better strats now for these rooms. I'm pretty sure there is. But uh, there's also a way to avoid this zombie falling down, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know how. Just get the modulator and return whence we came. Shoot this ugly guy in the head. Shoot this ugly guy in the head. Sometimes he will not stagger like this, but uh, he can be annoying. Okay, now for this liquor room, there's a couple ways you can go about it. I will show you one way first. You can just walk. But because that's boring, we're gonna run. <laughs> but if you walk, they will not hear you. Right, here we're gonna have to set the modulator. And the, the solution to this puzzle is always the same as well. So, go to Murph and do this. You see the way the dials are? I like to imagine that the dotted dials have numbers from 1 to 9. So, uh, the solution to this puzzle would be left dial on 7, right dial on 8. Always the same. Use it. As soon as you've used it, run back. Where are the liquors? Oh, there they are. Uh, yeah, heal yourself, get hit again, get hit yet again. See, this is really bad luck, but you know, it, it just happens sometimes. Welcome back, Dr. Lee. You have five new messages. You can also flash them, the liquors. Who left the freezer open? Here, use the solution. Then this cutscene here, you can skip, not everyone knows that. Since I think cutscenes count towards in-game time, so you better skip all, of, all those. Otherwise it's just uh, lost time for nothing. Also just to show you this, um, if let's say you were low on healing items and low on confidence <laughs> and low on flashes you can like i do now you can run past them maybe we should annoy him <laughs> and then run out <laughs> so that's you can do that too okay so here the plant man one of them will be here i think yeah there he is i'm not gonna bother with that because if they have their backs to you that's really annoying because in order to stun them you have to shoot their bulbs or one of their bulbs on their bodies and in order to fully incapacitate them shoot all of the bulbs as you've seen earlier when I got back my knife but when they have their back turned to you um, it's really annoying to hit that 
So you just have to stun him with a the shotgun then. That did the trick. I will probably do that when I exit this room. Also there's a blue herb here, we can use to make another um, buff herb mixture. Again, don't need to pick that up if you uh, run it fast. Also, don't forget to combine this when you pick it up, otherwise you lose time like I did now. This guy you can leave him. Ooh! Oh god, maybe you should shoot him. I just never do, but <laughs> maybe you should. Okay, so now this is the annoying, the very annoying room. I hate this room a lot. Oh, this time it was really not bad at all. Also, he staggered from the first shotgun shot, yeah. Because, yeah, usually um, these plant men, the ivies, will be... The first will have his back to you, usually, when I come through here. And it's really annoying to deal with, so... I just use the shotgun. Um, also, we're coming up on yet another Birkin fight. Which is, um, again, we're gonna use the knives. And I don't have as many knives as I want to now. You know, for safety, like you have more than you need. We don't really. But at least there's another grenade pickup right there, which is good. Gonna, no, no, fuck that, uh, that's wrong. Just go here first. And again, the puzzle is always the same solution. So go to OSS and see to it that the dials are set to 5 and um, 9. Like this, right? Call it? Alright. And use it. Then, box that. Get your nades, get all of the nades. The flashes, you don't need them. Um, oh yeah, we have a fresh combat knife also. So three should be... Yeah, <laughs> three should be plenty. Let's also just... No, you know what? We're gonna do it really safe. Right. Really safe. So... Yeah. I think that's good, yeah. Um, we're gonna do it really safe, which means we're not gonna use this first ace spray now. Also, there's a powder here to the right you can use to make more shotgun ammo if you need it. But we, we definitely don't need it. I mean, we have like, we have 18 shots in here. We have 27 pistol. We have, uh, I think eight grenades. It's all good, man. And more knives than we ever need. I think. Right. Now back to Ada. So yeah, safe routes, yeah? Good. So take the red herb if you want it here. So now we have like... Uh, uh, not that many. Also we have another blue herb here. We're gonna need that later. Uh, for... Um, Tyrant fight to buff ourselves because on this safe route we're doing here, this really really safe route, we're always gonna have a uh, like a, a blue herb mixture buff herb uh, for the bosses. Also, switch to shotgun. So now, Birkin three. Um, when the fight starts, shoot his right leg. I mean his left, but our right. Um, then shoot his eye on his arm, when he's stunned by that, then shoot his back, which there is another eye, then he will go down on his knees and then we're gonna knife his back. So that's the basic strategy for this. So even if he hits you, well, no, not even if, we're in danger already, so... Sometimes he will just not show you his eye on his arm, which, you know, could be worse. We're not going for uh, any records here, so... Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Let's just get knocked around by him a couple times. Oh my god. <laughs> you can also just not hit hit the uh, hit the eye, which is fine. So now, equip the knife if you didn't have if you haven't already, and do this. You hear the um, the multi hits. And already. To uh, yeah. So now we're gonna use the grenades. That's him, that's it. So now, um, there's a flash here. Just pick it up, you know, why not? We're doing the safe routes anyways. There's also a first aid space somewhere here, I can't remember where. It doesn't matter anyways. Also again, um, oof. I don't even know if it's again, I don't know if I've ever said this, but um, your movement speed is slower when you're hurt. So here you can go behind this box, not in front if you want, it's faster. Oh. So this is the part in the run where you can just chill a little bit take a stretch <clears throat> how are we for time yeah, it could be worse There's also first spray aid, first aid spray here, which is neat. There's also a knife here, which is also pretty neat. Um, yeah, let's go to the box as well. Yeah, two knives should be plenty. The flash, good that we have the flash because we need that for uh, for Mr. Tyrant. Again, the IVs here stun them by shooting their bulbs like that. That's what that's what it's supposed to look like. Just be fast about it. Take the green herb, um, equip the flash. You can also equip the flash while running, not in menu. <clears throat> it's faster. Also, sometimes when you flash Mr. X, he will um, start flailing around and hit you, which is really annoying, but it's not really. There's not really much you can do about it. Also here the camera resets to the right. I mean you have to go to the right. The camera is not to the right. That's what I'm trying to say. Right here combine the red herb with this. And here to get a really safe fight take out this and this. Um, make blue red green mixture. Take the combat knives dump the shotgun. We don't need it anymore. So you see this um, layout we have here? This is more than enough. And keep two slots free for this. 
also equip a healthy knife. So again, I'm sure there's a faster way to beat to do this, maybe, but um, this is the strategy I use. So go up to him, equip the knife, and stay to his to his uh, non-burning arm and his back. If you circle strafe around like this with the knife, very often, if you do it right, not like me, but if you do it right, he will not hit you. Like that, you can... Because either you will stagger him, or... Um, oh shit. Because you will either stagger him, or um, avoid his... Yeah, see, that's because we didn't stay to his back. Okay, we cannot circle around like this. If he does the jump, that's always that's chill. That's that's really chill because you want to bait him to do the jump because you can um, evade the jump much easier. So you see, if you circle around correctly, then um, then. And you can avoid his attacks. So just stall him with the flashes after the knife. I just do it on feeling. I don't have any specific numbers for this. I just do it off feeling and uh, knife him until I think, yeah, that's enough. And then I just flash him until uh, the flame, uh, the grenade, fuck, the rocket launcher comes. And also, if you pick up the rocket launcher, if you're fast, just run forwards, mash the mouse button, equip it, and shoot him. You have enough time to shoot him before he can hit you. Like this. And then, yeah, just um, walk here, shoot one more, so all the zombies die. And that's it, we're done with the game. So let's see... Keep in mind, right? This this run I did just now... I was It was sloppy. It was not fast. I picked up way more than I needed and went to the box like a thousand times. Explained some shit um, to stand around and not walk. So keep that in mind, right? So you... I was basically giving away time um, so even with all that right it's not gonna be too terrible it's gonna be around like 112 or oh, well no <laughs> okay 116 right but still 116 this is, is uh, I mean it's not a really it's not like a, a, like a, a solid time right like not at all I mean, really not at all but um, this goes to show that even if you don't put much thought into it. Turn off your brain, talk some shit while playing, explain some stuff, uh, reload stuff, which also does not um, erase the time in between in terms of in-game time. You will just accumulate it if you reload saves. Um, so yeah, just follow this route, right? Do what I did and make it better. And yeah, you'll get you'll get a decent time at some point. So yeah, this route is just made to give you a starting point, to give you some confidence, um, give you some fun, so you can just uh, yeah see the route basically and then just build off of that, you know? Find better strats. There already are better strats, a lot. But, you know, make your own strats, um, build off of it and get some sick-ass times. So yeah, that's it. This was the Resident Evil 2 Remake speedrun tutorial for Leon, a standard new game at 120 frames per second. Thanks for watching. Um, all the stuff that I mentioned will be in the description, like the links to the programs that we use. 
Uh, yeah, join the Discord, man. Join the uh, join the Resident Evil speedrun Discord. Uh, watch some streams of people. Um, yeah, man, and just compete, compete, play some games, and have fun. So yeah, until I see you on the leaderboards. Peace.